Hi everyone, and welcome to the SwiftCase Productivity Podcast. My name is Adam Sykes, founder of SwiftCase, the professional productivity platform. And today I've got with me... I would be a developer at SwiftCase. Okay, so Alkis is still very hard at work yeah. doing some programming upstairs. So again, you've just got us two today. Uh, so today, I don't know whether you want to explain what we're going to be talking about. So. Yeah, it's something I was thinking about today because we had a recent uh, uh, news item that I'm not going to discuss because it kind of would be uh, hypocritical to discuss it, the nature of it, and then part yeah. of the nature of it. Yeah. So uh, where, suffice to say, like there was a celebrity who, you know, uh, unfortunately killed themselves. And a lot of the discussion around this celebrity's tragic death was based on who was to blame for them, them choosing to kill themselves or to commit this act. And uh, when I was... Uh, reading about it, my immediate instinct was to go, oh yeah, yeah, the media, media should answer for this, the tabloid press should answer for this. this. This was my sort of gut thing. But then when I analysed it a bit more, I realised how um, there's always shocking events that involve death and some tragedy by which people then immediately switch to the blame part of the mm. process and choose some form of media. Mm. And I have a different sort of biases of gain associated with it. So I would instinctively go, oh, no, don't blame that media. Mm. So, and, and the, the example I was thinking of was, uh, you know, with school mass shootings mm. uh, from Columbine onwards, it's been, oh, video games. Right? Yeah. Um, or my romance. Oh, my, my romance, amazing, <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, and also, yeah, so it's music. So yeah. that's a really good thing. So, so even before the video games thing, it was music in the sort of devil cults from the 70s, Yeah, you know. Um, and even when it seems to be dispelled, it just comes back yeah. every time. And uh, at the moment, the tabloid press and the parts of it, I'm sure they, they have with, um, I think they live with Hills or anything like mm. that. There's always a, a, a object of blame. And we sort of like, as a, you know, inter- as, a, as a public, we kind of realize that media has an influence on us. Mm-hmm. And we only really decide to do something about it when something really bad happens. Yeah. And then we suddenly go, all right, actually, this is an issue. All right, this is a big issue. We need, to, we need to address how the media are doing it. But we don't feel compelled to do it when it's doing other things to us, like, you know, convincing us that, like, I, I don't know, a diamond is forever. And, like, mm-hmm. you have to spend a thousand pounds of your wage to get engaged with it. Yeah. And, like, this is just tradition. Mm-hmm. And it's like, really, it's a very recent tradition that was... Yeah, concocted by the so type. Huh? Yeah, doing yeah. <laughs> okay, a third of wages. In fact, in fact, when I think about it, I'm not going to tell you how much my wife's engagement cost, but um, she knows. <laughs> and uh, there are so many things that the media does to change our minds about things. Yet we don't really kind of care. Mm. Um, I'm just wondering what like you think about um, how much impact the media has on our thinking, and whether you can sort of just choose one sort of culpable entity and say that's it. I think, I suppose, a lot of this as well is tied to social media as well. Yeah, so there's, exactly. you know, the, they talk about the, the bullying culture, yeah. don't they, of yeah. media, whether it's social media or tabloid media. And I think there are obviously cases where the tabloid media have behaved very, very yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you've got phone hacking. Yeah. You've got, yeah, yeah, you've got, You've obviously got Hillsborough, yeah, exactly. which is a specific, you know, yeah. around where, where we're based. That's a yeah. massive issue. And people, yeah, exactly. you know, yeah. ban the sun from their shops. Yeah. You know, local councils ban the sun. And, you know, it's, yeah. it's a real big, big yeah. issue of that one particular paper. At the same time, as, as all of that, there's the actions of the paper. Those papers only exist because people keep buying them. Mm. So if people keep buying them, do they actually reflect society's yeah, exactly. own yeah. opinions mm. and that's what we see in social media now isn't it that people on social media individuals act exactly the same way as the tabloid media do mm. they get involved in these pylons yeah. or yeah. you that's know it. they get swept up in pointing the finger yeah. and you know i suppose it's very similar to witch trials in the, in yeah. the past exactly. there's yeah. always been yeah. this kind of judgment crucible yeah. yeah there's always been this judgment of people mm. and the, the media i suppose in the in this instance, is, is, is the one that's getting the blame now. Yeah, it's the tool by which the behaviour is enacted, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So it's good that you mentioned that because I just realised that I'd watched this morning a video on social media of a large group, maybe 100, 200 American students 
sort of harassing this um, girl. She's like called Gun Girl or whatever, and she was very pro gun. And she mm. um, she's always she goes around interviewing people about gun liberty and things like that. Yeah. And, and in the end, on what would obviously be quite a liberal campus because most mm. of you, yeah, they end up just sort of attack, you know verbally attacking her and abusing like mocking her and things like mm. that. And obviously, it must have been quite you know. Uh, she must have been quite afraid because it was mm. literally a physical manifestation of a pylon online. Mm. And then on top of that happening, the videos disseminated to millions yeah. of people who all go, quote, retweet it saying, lol, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And so it's just amplifying some, that that physical event that's mm. always happened. And it happens at school. And it yeah. happens in your workplace sometimes. And it's happened in the government. It happens. So what we're really saying is just an amplification of it. Um, of a human tendency, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. And it's like, it's very easy to blame the tool, yeah. isn't it? Um, and we see the same sort of thing in football with racism. It's like all these racist chanting and things like yeah. that that hit the news constantly. It's, um, well, it's obviously increased in incidents mm-hmm. recently, thanks to the rise of xenophobic nar- narratives. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, but football is held as being responsible. Yeah. Isn't it? And it's like, you're the ones that should be doing something about yeah. it. But it's society, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't like to think that the society that they are part of and they built up is to blame and something specific must have caused this imbalance in our perfect yeah, yeah. So society. So now, so therefore something's changed. Something's changed. Mm. We're actually, the whole aspect of mm. culture around celebrity mm. has been building for decades. Yeah. You know, it's, it, we, you know, people get held up to this high regard, and yeah. you get to this position where they're yeah. you know, university, you know, universally liked, and then they get a bit too high, yeah. and then people want to cut them down. Yeah, yeah. And this kind of cycle of people who get, you know, dragged up, and then you know, cut down and left to the wayside is is part of society and what society's mm-hmm. produced. You got to look at like X Factor and yeah, shows yeah, like yeah. that. You know, they, they, they find people, they tell them they're going to be great and all yeah. this. And then two years later, you've never heard of them again. And they're yeah. back working in a phone yeah. shop in, you know, wherever they yeah, were, exactly. you know. Or they're doing the circuits on the student. Yeah, they're doing all the pantos. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah the, the Chesney Hawks yeah. type, yeah. That ironic. Yeah. You know. Sort of that is really it, isn't it? It's, a, it's like, um, and we're talking about, like, it seems com- like a complex behavior that people should, that conscious of, but they're not, they're kind of, the behaviors that every group goes through um, subconsciously, but from outside of it, it's very easy to do. Like being in a cult, mm. like it's very easy to recognize when someone's in a cult mm. if you're in it yourself, yeah. isn't it? And there are certain behaviors that always happen, which is the idolatry of that individual, yeah. isn't it? And we effectively produce like mini cults yeah. for every celebrity, don't we? Yeah. Um, and then you end up sacrificing them Yeah, effectively, isn't it? Um, but also sometimes, mm. And not not talk about celebrities, but like there's been the recent thing with the political advisor, oh, yeah, yeah. where social media pressure highlighted issues that you know Just should be ta- yeah, yeah. should be taken yeah. into account. Yeah. And if they hadn't have been highlighted, would that individual be at a high level of government yeah, advising? Yeah. You know, changing policy. Yeah. You know, so sometimes the judgment mm. is necessary yeah. and. You know, I think the, the key thing though is what you said about the gun girl, yeah. in, which is that the actions of her might be undesirable to those other people, but perhaps the way they went about her this was not. well making the judgment known yeah, yeah. was not maybe the best way of doing it. Well actually I wonder whether what happens is you haven't ended up with a broad spectrum of judgments. So you, you, this is one way that people have interacted with her. To, mm. try, to try and silence it. Yeah. Now, so, and so there's been multiple people have engaged with her on an individual level and argued mm. with her what they think of a preposterous uh, viewpoint. And it's probably culminated in eventually them getting mm. sick and, and thinking, right, she's coming and interviewed loads of people and all got sick of it and now it's going to come in this. So you, it, it's probably a mistake to think of the one event like it was with the celebrity year mm. as being something that you have to, um, as being the causative factor and that how that event was delivered to you as being part of that. When it's actually, there's a huge constellation of events that are undetected that caused it to happen. 
involved in all kinds of media and all kinds of people. It's just that we tend as humans to look back at the last thing that sort of happened yeah. and go, that's it. Yeah. Just like you sort of, like we did a rain dance or since yeah. it stopped the rain and, and you know, yeah. and, and you may, and somebody becomes a celebrity because they did a rain dance and the rain stopped the next day. Yeah. And suddenly we can worship them until yeah. they fail the next time. Yeah. And, um, but someone can have underlying mental health exactly. issues for a very long time. Yeah. It's just not public and people don't even notice. And also wanting to be a celebrity for me yeah. is a sign of a mental health issue. Because it, you know, well, that's another totally other podcast. But like, so it's already self self selecting for people who think a certain way who are vulnerable because they requirement the work the willingness to put yourself out there for the required what they think is like positive reinforcement. I think it's part okay. of a behaviour set that may lead to that's a bit of a thing to drop at the end, yeah, yeah. end of a podcast. Yeah, yeah. Maybe <laughs> put that up again next yeah, time. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, some people might have a different personality without yeah. necessarily having. Yeah, the mental health. Yeah, issue. well, that's it. Yeah. yeah, but in some areas of public life, maybe self-selecting for people that do. You know what I mean, yeah. so, so not everyone will. But uh, I know what you mean, like yeah. c- CEOs and managers and oh, exactly, yeah, are, are known right. for being on the, on the psychopath. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, no sort of spectrum. That's yeah, the thing. Exactly. But it doesn't yeah. mean that all of course. No, exactly. but yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. point. But maybe again, we put that up yeah. in another yeah. podcast. But for today, if you've um, obviously if you've been uh, got any comments you want to leave about yeah. this particular topic, then please drop a comment below. Yeah, or if you want to go and see more about um, what we do to make ourselves known, then go to um, swiftcase.co.uk. If you want to see any of our social media, go to at Swiftcase UK on all platforms. Yeah, and if you want to subscribe to more content like this, click the subscribe button, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.